Hi there, this is Johnny Moneto, uh, World of Warships. And today we take a second look at what I discussed in my previous video, and that was called uh, Sky Shooting or The Sky's the Limit. And I would actually call it a little bit different now. I would call it the Sky Shot Aim Assist. Yeah, I dare to use the word Aim Assist because actually I think this is what it is. You get an Aim Assist. If you haven't seen the first video, check it out. Either I managed to get the link in the upper right corner or you will find it in the description. I'm not really good at YouTube. Let's see how that goes. Okay, short summary. What has happened so far? Um, I discovered that if you zoom out three notches, you go into binocular view and go to maximum zoom and then uh, use your mouse wheel to zoom out three notches, you will have a more free camera. And if you point this camera into the sky, and it's very important that there is no landmass there, because otherwise it will not work, as I found out last time, uh, you point it in the sky and you have a lock on, on a target, you will get an aim assist from the game. It's legal because it's built in, there's nothing I installed to make it happen, it's, it's just there for everybody to exploit. So. Um, I want, uh, last time I uh, used uh, co-op battles and bots to demonstrate this and it was working nice, but of course everybody thinks, uh, can you do it also against human players? And this is why I started this battle. This is on my NA account. I chose a Kirov. Uh, I want to play selfish, please don't judge me here. I really just want to see how it goes. Uh, with the with the sky shot aim assist and therefore I'm not playing in the way I usually play I'm usually not playing selfishly. I try to be there for the team um, But this is not the uh, you shouldn't hold me up to these high standards uh, I'm trying to get as many examples of the sky shot aim assist as possible and here we already have our first victim it's an Omaha and uh, This Omaha is uh, yeah at a medium distance from me, it's not so bad, and I'm already using the Skyshot aim assist. As you can see, I'm in this free camera mode, and I'm shooting over an island. I'm, uh, as described last time, I'm not actually looking at the big screen. I am looking at the minimap in the lower right corner. Now the minimap is uh, unusually large. I guess for most of you this is a mod I have installed and the mod is part of I think it's part of the normal mod station so the official mod station but it's uh, definitely available in Aslain's mod package and that's the auto spy minimap modification and this mod just allows you to define your own zoom levels amongst other things but it defines uh, it lets you define your own zoom levels for the minimap and therefore I'm able to make it so huge. And of course this is very beneficial because I am using the minimap to actually put this nice little white aiming circle uh, in the correct position above my target. Now what happens, and this is also described in the first video already, is that I need to make the left-right alignment by myself but I do not need to make the vertical alignment. That is done by the game automatically. And this is what I'm trying to use here all the time. So I'm just looking on the minimap and then also makes me see some other targets. Here I try my luck with the uh, with Jaguar, with the destroyer. And you will see that these shots just, yeah, I, I get a hit there. Later on we will see that DD again, but um, it takes a little bit of practice to get used to because you have to get this left-right alignment right by yourself and um, it's a bit unusual to play only by the minimap, but uh, it's definitely possible after getting some practice. Now I'm happy with this uh, battle because uh, as you saw in the beginning I shot a cruiser behind some island now I'm trying to shoot a DD I get mixed results here the first salvo I actually hit him but now he's maneuvering and this is the other thing the aim assist works very nicely it targets that don't maneuver very well as soon as they really actively dodge the shots um, 
pops, uh, most of your shells will just land in the water. And in case of a DD, yeah, the shells will most definitely land in the water. So I don't recommend to use it on destroyers that are actively wiggling, unless they're wiggling too much. In this case, they would go in a straight line, but that's a different story. Let's not go into details here. Um, that's a perfect situation. This is actually what I was hoping for. I am basically, uh, well, I'm not really behind islands, but I'm uh, just shooting by the minimap and I use the sky shot. And you see, I'm getting hits. And as you will see in the course of the battle, I'm actually getting hits very reliably. Now, these might not be the best hits, and I am shooting with this sky shot aim assist mode. Um, where I could actually also use the conventional method of aiming and maybe would get better results. But again, this is for demonstrating only that this is actually possible. And you will see later very fine examples of where you can actually use it and where it's maybe even better than the conventional shooting. Like, for example, when you're behind an island, you're shooting from cover or the uh, target that you want to shoot at is kind of behind an island and you don't see it very well anymore. You know when you press this M key twice for for flashing the tactical map in very fast so that you have an idea where the vessel is going? Yeah, you don't need to do that anymore. You just zoom out three notches and uh, use Skyshot aim assist. As long as you have a lock on target, it's absolutely no problem. Here we have the Koenig as a volunteer, very nice. I was really hoping for these kind of shots. And there you go. Now, of course, I have my cruiser here and uh, I'm just generally shooting at, at the ships. There is, uh, I make one fire and I'm, I'm not sure if I will hit any other sections there and can set another fire. You know, all these things that you use when you're using the conventional aiming and if you're really good you can spread out your shots a little bit try to get the rear fires try to go for this uh, special sections where you know that you can pen the, the ship all these things you can't really do here too much because this is too coarse for this but uh, what you can do is if you don't see the target very well um, you can use this method to reliably hit shells on the target and especially, of course, against battleships, which are maneuvering rather slowly. Also against stationary cruisers and all that jazz. And again, just a reminder, yes, I see there are other targets. And if I would play normally, I would not be here in this position. I would have already gone more aggressively against the enemy destroyers. I would have played more for my team. But I really want to demonstrate this sky shot aim assist here. So Koenig received the fire. There, there we go. And it's dead. And I really shot only at this battleship by looking at the minimap. And eventually, not me by myself, but eventually I killed him. So now we do the same with the Congo. And um, that's great because Congo is only a 10 kilometer range and I want to see if that is working here as well. First shot, I, I misjudged the speed. The left-right alignment was not correct. That's why all the shots went into the water. On the second salvo was much better. Of course, here I can use the conventional aiming. I don't have to do this aim assist and actually I'm a little bit low here with my with my view. No, it's, it's okay. I'm still above the island, so it's still okay. But you see clearly that my reticle, my, my aim is uh, somewhere in the sky and I should shoot well above the target, but actually I'm hitting the target all the time. So that was the, the next kill on the next battleship. So it works even on uh, 10 kilometer ranges. And here, this is a very nice example, very fine example, where I can use this aim assist. There you go. This shot, do you think I would have hit the target so nicely without this aim assist? I'm not sure. So I'm doing the sky shot aim assist here behind this high island where usually I would do the double M tapping. Um, no need. No need at all anymore. I just zoom out a little bit and then I just shoot this guy and this guy probably wonders why this 
idiot at the back of the map reliably hits him. Of course, this is a Gengard, and you know, the Gengard armor scheme is like, a, yeah, well, it's better than some tier 10 battleships, except for these 19 millimeter spots, but the rest is really better, and it's very hard to deal damage to her for a cruiser. So that's why the damage output is rather meager. Here, of course, I shot into the island because I had the island indicator that I cannot lob shells over the island anymore. Again, what I also said in the previous video, the shell arcs remain the same. Did I say it in the previous video? I'm not sure. Better I say it now. The shell arcs remain the same. Just because you have a different perspective, it looks like the, the, the shell arcs are much higher, but you're not able to lob shells over island in any other way than you would be in the conventional aiming. It's all about um, getting rid of you having to aim yourself in the vertical and uh, zoom out and let the computer do it for you. So we'll try to get some more shots. Unfortunately, the islands are too high. Well, it's a Russian cruiser after all. So it's, it's nice to do that with a Kirov because she has good shell velocity. But on the other hand, yeah, I tried anyway, but no, there will, no chance. Okay, yeah, I think that was a nice demonstration. I, I uh, got two kills, uh, several fires, 62k damage for Kirov. I'm not saying that you should play all your battle like this. Definitely not. But you, you also saw here some fine examples of where this uh, sky shooting is actually nice. It's uh, maybe even better. You can hit more reliably than using the conventional method. And um, in certain situations, or in many situations, conventional aiming is much better. But in some situations, as demonstrated here, you might want to switch to this technique to get reliable hits for battleships behind islands, you're yourself being behind islands and don't have, not having a good vision. Or maybe you even struggle to, to uh, understand correctly where you have to lead, how, how much you have to lead your target. And maybe it's easier to do this uh, by the small circle on the minimap. Another thing basically, uh, what we saw earlier, what I forgot to tell you, is that uh, you can also get an indication of the speed of a target because the, the small aiming circle on the minimap is, uh, is showing you this, especially when uh, a vessel is bow on or stern on, which is mean directly coming towards you or is going away from you directly. And usually you have a very hard time figuring out exactly how fast the ship is moving um, you cannot use your torpedo tubes, in case you have any, uh, to estimate the speed because all you see is that it's going either directly towards you or away from you, so there is no speed estimations. It's very hard to read the funnels to see exactly which speed the ship is going. So um, if you switch then to this uh, Skyshot aim assist method, um, the, the circle will jump exactly to the right position for you in the vertical and you can see if the ship is moving astern or ahead and even uh, the speed of the ship you can estimate because it's, it's showing you yeah you don't have to worry about such things anymore you just align left right correctly and that's it uh, here i go to conventional aim because we're coming closer to the end of the battle actually i i stop uh, showcasing whatever I, it was I wanted to showcase and I uh, see that my team tried to do a good job of winning this game and now I actually don't want to sacrifice myself by stubbornly showcasing the Skyshot aim assist even further and now I just try to stay alive and not be an easy target for the carrier. All right, yeah, so the game is uh, basically finished. Uh, I will just run away and my destroyers will not only survive, but even kill this remaining battleship there. That was um, the Skyshot aim assist. Uh, I think, I hope that you uh, get some idea how to use it. And I think this is proof of concept that uh, you can actually use it also against human players. We will see how it works out when you play a Wooster on a tier 10 battle against experienced players, but feel free to experiment and uh, figure out exactly how the best way to use it for you. But I think it's another technique 
which uh, it might be worthwhile to learn how to use it. Um, so you, it might give you that extra advantage that you need to be successful in your battle. Have fun exploiting the build and aim assist in World of Warships and uh, wish you all the best. This is Johnny Monito. Have a nice day.